Niantic is on a roll. Yesterday, they released some new information for two new brilliant events. One of those events should be starting right around the time this video goes live on YouTube. So apart from the brilliant event information, yesterday Niantic also released information for the upcoming Community Day happening this Saturday. So lots of details were revealed yesterday. I made a video about it as well, so you can go check that out. But today we also received even more information. And today's information is about a new version of the app, version 2.1.0, and with this come a lot of updates. Some of these updates will not be live on your phone right away. Some of these features are live right now, but some of them will be rolling out in the coming week or so uh, once the update is available on your app store. So the first update with regards to fortress battles is that you will finally be able to get a message if you're low on spell energy before you enter a wizarding challenge. Apart from that, you'll also be able to see how much spell energy you have when you're inside a fortress so you don't have to guess how much spell energy you, are, you have before you go in. There's also a new registry page with regards to wizarding challenges, so that's great as well. And here is a little bit of a bad news for those of you who were grinding XP by spamming low level, uh, low tier or low chamber uh, fortress battles, unfortunately that has been nerfed. So the XP gains that you get from chambers 1 through 8 uh, the XP gains uh, have been nerfed, so it's lesser than what you would usually get. And for Chambers 11 onwards, it has been increased. So um, technically, if you do a higher Chamber Fortress, it should give you much more XP now. But the grinding Fortress Battles days are probably over now. With regards to your code name, if you're not happy with your code name and you want to change it, you can actually do this right now. But disclaimer, you can only do this the one time for now. And of course, we have new registry foundables as well. Uh, they are already live. Uh, people are returning these foundables, new foundables. Uh, these, these foundables are live right now. So definitely you want to head out and try to return as many of these foundables as you can. Here is one of the biggest updates that come with this version and that is the spell energy will be displayed to you on your main screen map. That is the biggest update from this version and I absolutely love it because before this update, uh, you, if you wanted to check how much spell energy you have, you had to tap twice. So that was a very well tedious and long process not very long but it was an unnecessary step that you had to take to check how much spell energy you had but now you will not be able to do that once you have updated your game with regards to potions the effectiveness of your xt miller potions have also been increased but this is only for fortress battles i think for trace encounters it is pretty much the same effectivity with regards to your ministry id portrait there have been new lenses new portraits new stickers and stuff that have been added but apart from that the ministry id bug that was present until now should be fixed finally uh, let me know in the comments if it has been fixed for you if you're facing these issues in the past. Apart from that, we have got some general bug fixes as well. Uh, I've, I'll be displaying these bug fixes on screen right now for you to check out. These are all the bug fixes that are available through this new version. However, with every update, as is the case with any other game, uh, there have been some other issues that have uh, propped up uh, because of this new update and once again on screen are these known issues that have come with this new update. Uh, one of the things that is not listed over here is the fact that the fast trace glyph trick that I taught you guys a few days ago that unfortunately no longer works so you can't do the fast trace uh, glyph trick anymore. So that is unfortunate, but uh, that is how it is. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the updates. Like I mentioned, by the time this video goes live, the first brilliant event for the Potter's Calamity should go live right around the time this video goes live. And uh, this weekend will also be the first ever community day. I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know again, it's a quick short video, but hopefully community day will be an amazing video So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye